video, I will show you how to access the work that your students have turned in, how to review it, how to annotate it, how to grade it, and how to return it back to these students. So, log into the website. Quickest way is to type login.myschooljamaica.com. Ensure that your school is selected, your user type, enter your teacher's ID, and you click on login. Another tip too, which I'm going to show you, you can zoom the screen. So for this recording, I'll be zooming the screen so everything fit nice on the screen. To zoom, just hold on the control key on your keyboard and roll the middle mouse button. All right, so 80% looks good. All right, I'm going to log in. Great. Go to your classroom. Enter the virtual classroom where the work was initially posted. Look for the work. Click on either view student work or click on the value I turned in. I'm going to click on the value I turned in. When I click on the value I turned in, it shows me all the students who have returned work. So I'm going to annotate work for this student that turned in two pieces of work. The work is loaded, as you can see, and I'm seeing it clearly. All right, so I would need to mark on it. So I'm gonna show you a few tools. To, the first tool is the free and tool. So we click on it, right, this pencil looking icon right here. You know, it shows you the different colors. You can adjust your, or pick your own color. You can adjust the stroke. That's the thickness of the, the pen, all right? So let's start. So this probably is a little too thick for some of you. I can, you can bring it back down to one point and probably this is much better, all right? We can mark on the paper, review the paper. All right, now there's a red button here. When you're done with the annotation, you need to save it. If you move to the next picture, let me show you. If you move to the next file that the student submit, and you come back to a previous one, you see I lost my annotation. So notice when I go back, it refreshes the view. So I need to get a little bigger where I can see it. So I'll click right here. And then I select fit to width. Or I could just use the zoom buttons to zoom them in and out. I like to use a fit to width, right? So we can review the work. All right. And then we have to save it, right, for returning. So this red button here allows you to save the work. So let's click on save, click on OK. And you see what it did. It, it, it placed it right underneath return work. So let's move to the next one. And again, it's like this. I need to zoom it up. All right. And so far, the student returned the work nice. Um, in most cases, you may get them that they need rotation to rotate it. Just click on this um, setting, this view control button right here. And then there's a rotate, a page, ro a page rotation section where you can click on rotate for it to be rotated. Right? So if you get them crooked like this, you can just rotate it. Okay. Then you can continue with your annotation. Now, there are different annotation tools that you can test out. So there is a text box if you want to type in it, just choose it, and then you can choose the color you want to type in. Or I want to type in green, I can just, I can, I on my students' work, yeah, like that, awesome. Now, I want to probably show you how you can remove um, some of the annotations. You notice when you get the palm when you point or when you click on it, it, it will do a selection of the area and it will give you a little menu here where you can, where you can remove the annotations. All right, see that? So you can remove annotations and you can continue annotating. Right, so I'm still annotating, I'm still using the text, the text annotator. So if I need to go back to free and I need to select it, all right? I think most of you will be using the free and, right? and then remember to return 
save, right? Now, bear in mind that if after you save it and you need to return to it, right? Um, you can continue annotating, but make sure that you save again, all right? Make sure you save again. So you may need to remove the previous one because it will keep stacking it each time you save it, all right? So you probably want to remove the previous one. To remove, to move a return work, you click on the X beside the name, okay? Now, there are other tools. Feel free to explore them, guys. Um, let me show you the shape tool. Uh, the shape tool, where am I trying to write? So it allows you um, to choose the different shapes where you can probably you know, put a circle on it for whatever reason. And then there's an insert. You can probably um, insert some different images from your, from your computer. All right. Let's say you have a smiley face that you want to place on it. You can just choose this icon and then look for your smiley face and you can drop it right on it. And let's say you have different stamps that you want to put on it, like, you know, um, completed, you know, stuff like that. So you can just play around. You can't really break anything, right? You can play around, all right? And there's an eraser tool that allows you to erase some of the annotation that you did, all right? And so on. So play around with it. It's really, really powerful. And then once you're done, you can um, enter your trade. And then you can type a comment as well. And then you click on return. If you don't click on return, the students will not get the return work. All right, so be sure to click on return. And then you confirm with a yes. I'm not going to click on yes because this is live. All right, just click yes for now. Then you can move to the next student by, by selecting from the drop down list here. So you can move to the next student. I can click on, um, let's say, Curtis. Now, this is a, a good example. Because what Curtis, Curtis upload. Notice I'm not seeing any icon beside these images. The reason why I'm not by these files that were submitted by Curtis is because it seemed like when Curtis was uploading, he, he ran out of data or some interruption took place. So the files were not successfully loaded. All right, so look out for those as well. And if you can it, notice nothing happened. But from the moment you don't see the icon beside it like the others, you can just ask the student to, um, like, like what this teacher did, and send them a private message for that purpose. So you can contact them through your other social um, connections. You can proceed by continuing to the next student. You can do a search. Let's say you want to look at those that you may have returned already, right? Those that you may have created already, and so on. All right. Let's zoom this up. Oops. All right. What did the student actually typed in the information? All right. Because the student figured out that they could use the the same annotation tool to type in the information. Right? You can do your markings. Let me go back to annotation. Right? Um, with a, when you have a text document like this, you can use up these. So you can put the squiggly line underneath it. You can do a strike through. See that? But when you have handwritten images, you're not able to do that. All right, for obvious reasons. So that's it, guys. Um, you can, when you're done here, remember to save your work to return it. When you're done, you can just close the window from here. It could take you back to this window where you can continue with your annotation. All right, thank you for watching.